Rings of Power Season 2, a new Critical Role Dagger Heart one shot, and AEW meets Warhammer. Shit, yes, go, real! Welcome to Tabletop Tuesday, our first news rundown of the week. Today, we're talking about the new Rings of Power trailer, an AEW Warhammer crossover, and the newest Dagger Heart actual play. Now remember, if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can keep making them. Now, on to the news. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. Prime Video has dropped the first teaser trailer for season two of Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. And not only do we get our first look at Sauron in his new disguise of Anatar, as he worms his way back into the land of the elves to finish his work on the rings, what we don't see is almost as important. Namely, no Harfoots, and just a single blink and you'll miss it shot of Isildur and the not so mysterious wizard. Season 2 seems heavily focused around the creation of the other rings, and Sauron hiding in plain sight as Anatar, his fair form, as he works to complete them all. So will Season 2 win back the Tolkien fans who may have bailed on Season 1? Let's take a look at the full trailer and you can decide for yourself. An evil ancient and powerful has returned prepare yourselves the worms is way inside your mind the crest of him slit us in I think he has been here. I think he's been here among us all along. Every soul in Middle-earth is in peril. Now you have my attention. And speaking of second season trailers, Max didn't want to be left out as they have just dropped the trailer for House of the Dragon season two. While Max did drop two small teaser trailers earlier focused around Team Green and Team Black, this is the first official season two trailer, and it shows us more of the Dance of Dragons beginning in earnest, with the Targaryens preparing for all out civil war as the fight for the Iron Throne finally begins. Let's take a look. My throne. We're going to King's Landing. Well, what are we going to do about it? We must play the board before us. Proceed cautious of dignity. I want revenge. News spreads through the realm. The great houses will come to our side. I did not think they would be so eager to die. It's time for another wrestling and Warhammer crossover. Games Workshop has announced that AEW's Claudio Castagnoli and Kip Sabian will square off in an upcoming Age of Sigmar battle using Spearhead rules. Spearhead is a new quick battle mode that uses pre-constructed armies on a much smaller battlefield that only lasts four rounds. Claudio will be playing as the Stormcast Eternals, while Sabian will be playing as the Skaven, and of course both those armies will be featured in the upcoming Age of Sigmar 4th Edition starter box. Claudio, at least, is a Warhammer fan and has gone to Warhammer World in the UK, while Kip Sabian is British and thus was likely born with a Warhammer model and a handful of six-sided dice in his hands. The upcoming match will take place on May 16th. Until that day, I fight. GameStop is getting into the single Pokemon card business. Poke Beach is reporting that GameStop will be buying graded Pokemon cards and reselling them, and will also be selling individual rare cards. Those are holofoil cards, not the like Chase illustration rare and special illustration cards for $1 a piece. GameStop's collectible business has grown in recent years into a significant part of their business, and they are specifically trying to sell individual cards 
two younger kids. We'll see if that keeps them in business. I have doubts. <laughs> Adepticon is moving from Chicago to Milwaukee. Organizers have announced that the War Game Focus Convention has outgrown the Schomburg Se Convention Center and will be moving to the Baird Center in downtown Milwaukee. While the convention moving north means colder weather, this convention does take place in March after all, the Baird Center will have plenty of parking and triple the space of Adepticon's current venue. The next Adepticon will take place from March 26th to March 30th in 2025. Can't wait! MCDM's Flea Mortals joins the growing list of third-party sourcebooks now available on D&D Beyond. While D&D has slowly been adding more and more high-quality third-party 5th edition supplements and adventures like Humblewood and the Drakenheim books, Flea Mortals, which we called one of the greatest 5e supplements ever written, was created by the team who is currently working on the MCDM RPG, a direct competitor to Dungeons & Dragons. While not unheard of, as Cobalt Press's Tomb of Beasts is available on D&D Beyond, despite Cobalt Press also releasing Tales of the Valiant and their Project Black Flag SRD to compete with D&D, the MCDM RPG smashed crowdfunding records last year and is poised to be one of the biggest competitors D&D has faced in years. So it's nice to see that Wizards of the Coast seems to be intent on bringing in the best content they can find for D&D Beyond, regardless of how they may be directly fighting for that same market share down the road. Flea Mortals is available now on D&D Beyond and can also be bundled with another MCDM release, Where Evil Lives, right now on the D&D Beyond Marketplace. Hot damn! And finally, Critical Role is bringing back their Daggerheart group for another playtest. The Menagerie is returning for a new live one-shot that will air on Twitch, YouTube, and Beacon later today, that's Tuesday. The game will feature a leveled up Menagerie continue their playtest run. Now, as a note, if you want to see the characters level up to get an idea of how Daggerheart leveling up works, Critical Role will be airing that over on their channel in just a couple of hours. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. Let us know what your favorite story was in the comments below.